Okay, go. Cut another course of, sprint, of string twine uh, and doubled it over, waxed it in order to create the ties similar to what we have on the front around the back. I'm going to show you how to loop the string in order to protect the bottom portion of the spring when it's being nailed so it can work independently of one another while being protected by this top. Looks like bunny layer. ears. Yeah, the little rabbit ears. I'm going to slip it around. The nails, I've already put the spring, spring up nails into the frame. And that's where they're going to live. You can see that they slip underneath. Now, I realized I have to tack them down, and you're using this piece as a... That's okay. It'll a, wiggle for a minute, because so. I'm leaning way over the piece. Yeah. So we're going to have minor earthquakes from time to time here. Okay, there we go. Now you can see they're in position. Now I'm going to simply do this from behind what I did on the front. My elevation is already established. I also do not want these to canter down. I don't want them to slope at all because the back portion of the seat is going to come out thusly and drop down behind. So we want it to come out almost even with the inside back. So we're going to come around. I'm going to be over there. And the loop, just a single loop, goes through. And then you do it in reverse on the other side? Do it in reverse on the other side. Okay. You get to where you can do this blindfolded. Yeah. Kind of. There's the loop. Okay. And don't worry if it if it doesn't work out exactly right you had planned that uh, it's not the end of the world. Every once in a while they'll, the knots will catch up on themselves. And there we go. Now as you can see the elevations, this is not exactly right on the elevation. You can pull tension back against it. If it pulls down too far you can cause the knots to tighten. And Hence the earthquakes. It will increase the height. Sorry about that. Come back. Create the tie. So you're doing the same thing you did on the front one now, on the same one you did yes. on the inside of the front. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I'm recognizing them. And come over. Like a macrame class. It is a little bit. And so I'm going to finish that knot off by coming through the existing ties. So now this spring can act somewhat independently of the spring. I mean it's obviously already lashed. These additional knots will also <coughs> protect the original spring <coughs> string courses from abrasion and looks like we can we can finish off by wrapping and uniting it with pre-existing course of strings and 
well now it has become somewhat obscured what you've your nice clean straight work because it has so many knots on it everything's protected inside now these elevations where there there's there you see anomalies they will be dealt with in the course that runs across because in the end this will be a four-way tie is that what in you the said? end it'll be a four-way tie with strings running between the courses in order to stabilize the midsections of the string. Okay. Okay. Ta-da.